I have Federico D'Annunzio, who's the president of Jidui, with me today. He's Jidui are one of the two press manufacturers taking part in the package print zone here at Label Expo 2013 in Brussels. And Federico has on the booth uh, a digital flexo press. Can you tell me what is a digital flexo press, Federico? Yeah, it is the answer of the analog printing machine manufacturers to the digital wave. So how can you uh, progress in uh, the flexo printing and uh, introducing the flexo printing also in the short run, uh, let's say, market? And uh, the only way is with digital automation. Bearing in mind this is principally a label show, Federico, you've chosen to take part in the package print zone mm -hmm. um, and you're going to be producing, I understand, two different types of flexible packaging. Can you explain what they are? Yeah, there are two typical examples. One is the laminate leads and the other one is stand-up pouches. And uh, it is just a demonstration that with a web press you can literally make any web substrate available in the market. So you, do you see the transition from printing labels to flexible packaging an easy one? for label converters to make? I would say that it is not a transition, it, is already, it has already happened. Yeah. Uh, most of our customers are printing labels and the flexible packaging. And you have to remember that the, the term label is becoming wider mm. than in the past. You have uh, the uh, wraparound labels, Yes. the sleeves which are called labels. In the, in the market they call them labels. And you already have label converters dealing with filmic substrates. Yeah, so at the end of the transition has been already made. You hardly see any printer not using the press at least to make shrinkable sleeves or wraparound labels and self-adhesive labels. And then you see these people who started in the early days, because we have a lot of experience in that. We started with the flexible packaging presses in the year 2000, so we have nearly 13 years of experience in that. These uh, converters who started to introduce themselves in the flexible packaging on the short runs started then to extend their presence in the flexible packaging by buying uh, mid-web presses like our 630 uh, M5 press, so a, a wider machine which allows them to make only flexible packaging. And you've had quite a lot of success with the wider web, haven't you? Yes, yes. We had a lot of success because the label printer has a distinctive advantage in respect to normal flexible packaging converters. First of all, a label printer is creative by nature, by definition. He is used to have many different processes, many different ideas, many different ways of manufacturing, and he can give a service to the customer, which is different from any other printer in the flexible packaging. This is a distinctive know-how of the label printer, creativity. Second is the clear know-how of the label printer in the short run. He knows how to deal with it. Third is the quality. The label printer knows about quality much better than the flexible packaging guy because the flexible packaging guy is used to work with a press which is one meter point two. So the level of accuracy you can get out of a press like this because of the some, uh, let's say, accumulation of errors which are possible on a white press, the plate, the self-adhesive tape, uh, the mechanical tolerances are much higher so they become a little bit more uh, less demanding in the flexible packaging in terms of quality. We in the label industry, we are top quality printers. We print 100 lines per, in, per centimeter. So the customer who gets a packaging from a label printer or from one of our presses is just astonished at the, uh, about, at the the quality, quality. about the quality you can get. And also astonished by the fact that they can deliver the, the job in two days, three days. Hmm. So this makes the difference. And this to show how easy it is for the label press to make, uh, an, for a mid-web press to, to, to print and to convert flexible packaging. And, uh, sorry. sorry, no, the current trend I was going to say of, of runs becoming shorter, yeah. uh, but as you say, higher quality as well, really plays into the hands yes. of the narrow, narrower yeah. inline type of, of, course. of, of operation Absolutely. compared with the wider web CI. The wider web and also, Mid-web, there are some mid-web presses in the market uh, coming from, from, the C, from the CI world. Mm. They are not adequate. Mm. The new market needs immediate changeover, ink changeover when needed, 
changeover of the pin cylinder when needed, very fast, no waste. So this is only possible if you have the culture, and our culture is in that range. We started, G2 started in year 2000, delivering machines for the flexible packaging. So you see, ideally, you, you offer a combination of excellent quality, reduced waste, yes. and competitive price. Yes, yes. Thank you. And the flexibility. And, and the flexibility. Extreme flexibility. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's also this is making the big difference for the, for the customer. You have to consider that the label, the self-adhesive label customer, most of the time is the one who is asked from the marketing department to change from year to year, one year sleeves, one year labels, one year flexible packaging, one year back to labels. So they are changing the marketing policies. So they want to have one stop shop. And this is the big opportunity of the label printers, to be the one-stop shop for the packaging, because the runs are going shorter, they want flexibility, they don't want to have stock in-house. So this is a big opportunity for the whole industry. And we as press manufacturers, what can we put in place? So machines which are digitally automated, which are able to make the startup as fast as possible, the quality always predictable, consistency in the behavior of the machine. And this is only possible with the digitally controlled press, like uh, is our, let's say, g culture. Is there, is there a commercial advantage here, for example, for a brand owner to have his labels and his flexible packaging printed on the same press? Does that make sense? It is, uh, first of all, standardization mm. and also metho- methods of operation. The whole digital workflow would be just flowing like that. Mm. Everything would be just... And simplification, simplification saves money. Simplification, yeah, saves money at yeah. the end. And also, you're able to have a predictable result. Yeah. You know that you're going to have that result. If you look at uh, corporate companies, is what they need. They need uh, consistent, predictable results worldwide. And this is possible, especially with Flexo, and UV Flexo more than anything else, because what has happened also is that Flexo has increased its level of standardization. The Flexo industry has, in the last five years, uh, changed completely his uh, uh, internal way of working. And improved its image as well. Yes, yes. As, as a quality process. Yes, yes. And this means that before, the, the real standardization was only on the side of offset. Mm. Everybody was thinking offset. Now, it's not happening anymore. Now people are thinking the packaging already flexo. And it is a standard. And especially UV flexo with the fact that you don't have evaporation of the ink. You have a very good stable printing process which is which can be used very efficiently for standardization. The good thing about flexible packaging particularly is that uh, one, the converters are used to a roll-to-roll operation. Yes. And secondly, they're used to flexo as a printing process. Yes. yes. Unlike, shall we say, the carton market yes. where you're dealing with sheet fed yeah, and yeah, right. So, if you like, there are two hurdles that you don't need to cross. Yes, yes. People are understanding already. Mentally for them it's They're easier. already there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Talk to me about how you've digitized the, the press itself. It's the control element, isn't it? Yeah, the, the idea is that uh, every human being on the press is looking at the print pressure with his eyes and making the pressures with his fingers and making the register adjustments sometimes also with his fingers. So the idea is to have a camera which substitutes the eyes of the operator mm-hmm. and some several motors which are substituting the fingers of the operator. So the press is just doing what an operator would normally do, totally digitally. So what is the advantage of this? Is that if it is a digital operator making the adjustments of the press, then you have always the same waste, always the same quality, repeatable, always the same waste, uh, always the same uh, operations. So effectively what the operator does is set the press going. Yes and then leaves it to run and, itself and, yeah, and, and the, it, press, yeah. the press adjusts automatically yeah. to any variation. Yeah, and then we have uh, different levels of automation mm-hmm. because not everybody can afford everything. But we have uh, come to the whole cycle of automation, of digital automation. So you can start with the um, first level is automatic register control. Right. Everybody can have it. The second level is digital flexor 3.0 where you have a camera which controls on the two sides two marks and makes the pressure adjustments on the two marks and makes also the register control so the operator doesn't touch the machine but you don't know what is happening in the middle 
So we have digital Flexo 4.0 with another camera which checks the whole printing and makes the control with a PDF. So we have a closed loop system. It's just a level of automation needed. But it is not only on that side, because when you are printing labels, you have the label side, but you also have the die cutting side. In the die cutting side, also you have a lot of uh, variables. In the die cutting, more and more you can see that there are thicknesses of the die cutting of the papers, which are changing, because you're, you're, you want to have uh, thinner gauges, and you want to have uh, uh, the paper or the film as a front on the substrate. Mm. This means that the poor die cutting tool is only one height. It can only cut this height. So we have made a system which allows to sense the thickness of the substrate and automatically uh, define the height of the cutting. This is, I mean, this sensing the thickness is particularly important in flexible packaging, isn't it? Where, you, where you have lots of lots of different Yes, substrates. Uh, substrates. Yes, this yeah. is also for flexible packaging. Sensing the thickness is another yeah. important factor. If you have a digital press which automatically sets the pressure and the tension and uh, the register, then all the process of changing from one substrate to another substrate is really digitalized. And also for the uh, again for the die cutting, don't we should not over has underestimated the cutting process of it hmm. because most of the time is lost uh, in the day cutting yeah. in the pre-register in the setting of the pressure with a digital automation also in the day cutting we call it digigap uh, you are able to day cut uh, totally automated and you see presumably this technology as being the major fight back against the the influx of digital printing machines yes in the, in the in the label and flexible packaging market yes overall what is going to happen is that we press manufacturers from the analog world are going to digitalize everything which is possible mm. and to automate everything which is possible to get to the point to have the only difference between digital and us are going to be a in, uh, the the absence of plate in the digital, sure. but on our case, the lower cost of inks. Yes. So the two things must be must be fighting to a certain level, where there will be a trade off, and where is better digital and where is going be to be better with Flexo. And certainly at the moment, you can offer a wider web. Of course, and a, and a faster running speed. Faster running, but that's not the, the key point, uh, I believe. Mm. That's not the key point. You have to consider that Flexo itself uh, is already a very easy process to digitalize, much better than Offset, for instance. Mm -hmm. In Flexo, you have only the analogs, which is the giver of ink. And there is a new tendency in the world, uh, which is called uh, hexachromy, heptachromy, or this kind of color separations, which make that you don't change anymore the inks in the press. So this is going to be the new frontier. And this is going to be the new Flexo frontier, because Flexo itself has a limited number of variables, which make Flexo process much more easy to be digitalized than any other process. So this means that what is going to happen in the future, you will have a Flexo presses with always the same colors in the machine and just changing the print cylinders. You will not change the inks anymore. Now, I believe that in addition to the press that you're running in the package print zone, uh, running the demonstration we mentioned earlier, you, you've yes. also got a more sophisticated press yes. on your stand in Hall 11. Yes. Tell me a little bit about that, because that's quite exciting, the developments there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. This is, uh, we call it uh, the new G2 digital, in between brackets, a revolution. It is just uh, taking this step further. Now, we have a physical thing, which is the print cylinder. On every press at the moment, you have to, when you change job, you have to take away the print cylinder. And then you have all that waste in the machine. And then you have to put the new job in and then start printing. No matter the level of digital automation you can make, uh, this is going to have waste yes. and time. Yes. Stop the machine, take away, put in. Okay. So this new machine is called excellence and is based on the uh, principle of preparing the job into the machine before 
starting the changeover. So you prepare the new print cylinders yes. offline, you load them in, yes. and then you change on the fly, is yes. that right? change on the fly and also the die cutting. Right. Also the die cutting. So printing and die cutting. Printing and die cutting. So this means that uh, you can print and die cut eight colors with one die cut, change the job in less than one minute. The whole thing? The whole thing without operator. And, you the, and you don't stop the press? You don't stop the press. You and how, mu how much waste do you generate? Less than 10 meters. That's fantastic. Yeah, less than yeah. 10 meters. Just because also the idea is, is interesting because you're not going to change all the cylinder in one go, mm. but you change one at a time. So this means that the, the paper that you have printed is still good for the, second, for the first job. Right. It continues to be good. And then you substitute the new paper with uh, the new job. So it's going to be really a very close, good job to good job. It's yes. not anymore the print land. Yeah. So it's a simple device, but it's going to revolutionize our industry. How the flower has revolutionized our industry. Mm -hmm. As you know, flower yeah, head indeed. is now... Well accepted. Well accepted, let's say. Yeah. Well, well accepted. <laughs> I think that's the best way of putting it. <laughs> Federico, thank you very much. That's very interesting.